Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Joshin, and we have the lovely Laura Maroney, Hi. who's one of our nurse practitioners. So today we're going to be talking about hormonal acne. And there's two types we're going to talk about, male hormonal acne and female hormonal acne. So what we see a lot of times is we see um, a lot of men that come in and they have back knee. They also have some new acne on their face. Yeah. And a lot of times this is from testosterone. And there's a surefire way of telling whether it's testosterone acne or not. And do you know what it is, Lauren? Gosh, I would say muscles. <laughs> muscles, yeah, yeah. Their muscles are looking good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're so, looking yeah. really buff. Their faces are all a little yeah. red, but sometimes they get a little fleshy, right? They're, and they're red, yeah. yeah. So they're red and their muscles are really toned and tight. So yeah. this is a situation where, you know, the acne is induced by having high testosterone levels in their system. And mm. so, you know, with this, most of the guys, we can't talk out of being on the testosterone. Yeah. So we have to do something like Accutane, which is really helpful. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to focus more on the female situation. Absolutely. And so Absolutely. What, are, what are some of the characteristics of female hormonal acne? So female hormonal acne is, is very similar to male in, in the sense that it's below the, you know, it's, it's along the jawline usually, sometimes around the chin. Um, we see it a lot of times in women when they're um, perimetopausal. Uh, we see it in women that are about ready to start their periods or about ready to yes. menstruate and also when we have pcos yeah. like this polycystic, polycystic ovarian, ovarian disease yeah and they're going to have they're going to be hairy so yeah you know for women again i'll just recap it's going to yeah. be at, usually along the jawline and around the mouth yeah. and it usually occurs around a uh, woman's period mm -hmm. so those are two of the telltale signs absolutely um so we have some some options for these women that are not oral antibiotics or retin-a or benzoyl peroxide even though we will oftentimes add those but one of the first things we're going to use is oral contraceptives. Absolutely. And um, yeah. why does that work, Laura? Because it's actually estrogen. It's low dose of estrogen and progesterone, which help to regulate your hormones. So once we get those, sometimes that acne goes away. Yes. It's exciting. Yes. And when, exciting. We're, when we talk about oral contraceptives, one of the things that's really important is that you get a third generation or, or greater, mm -hmm. third to fifth generation. The newer ones, because the old progestin in the oral contraceptives actually was um, it actually enhanced androgens in, in women, which caused the problem. Yeah. So things like, what are your favorites for? Um, yes. Or, yes, or, yes, yes. Uh, ortho was yes. one. Yes. Now they have some really good ones that they're new, these low estrogen, like you were saying, but um, high estrogen, low progestin, low progestin. Yes. And we know that some progesterone can cause pigmentation. Yeah. So we, yes. we got to be a little careful with that, with our pigmentation. Balance yeah. Yes. We're always um, the other one that we love, and this one I've started to use a lot more recently is spironolactone, oh, yeah. which is a diuretic. Um, so it's, it's nice. So it makes women actually lose a little bit of weight, mm -hmm. but it's an anti-androgen. And this is a really nice one because then you don't have to be on oral antibiotics or something like that. Now, do you have anything that you like about it in particular? Well, spironolactone, we can actually use it for women for their acne, mm -hmm. but it also may help with hair growth like on their head yes, yes um and actually i've heard women say it might reduce the hair on your face so if you're someone who suffers from sort of these combination of symptoms which some of us women when we're perimenopausal we do um i feel like that's a really good option for you plus i like the weight loss thing yes yes <laughs> well, who, who doesn't want to lose an extra five pounds <laughs> exactly you know just saying so it's a really good treatment option a lot Absolutely. of times we want to use them together because with spironolactone one of the side effects is that um, it can make your periods irregular. Yeah. And so it's nice to combine it. And the other thing about spironolactone is if you're under 35, you yeah. want to be on birth control because spironolactone could cause birth defects. Absolutely. So if you're going to have children, this is an option for you. Yeah. Now, the other one we want to talk about is um, we want to talk about a new one yes. that Laura presented yes. at our journal this review last week. Yep. And Laura, I love Laura because she has enthusiasm for dermatology. I, I do. So <laughs> she was super excited about yeah. this one. We're not sure how to say it. Yeah. So should we spell it? Okay. <laughs> well, ahead. let's just try and say it. Okay. I feel like, okay. okay. Class coach room. Class Coterone. Class Coterone. There we go. <laughs> we yeah. said it, doctor. Class Coterone. Because it's brand new, you guys. So the reason why we don't know this, and there's not even a there's not even a really like exciting brand name for it yet. It's just this topical anti topical agent. Yeah. yeah topical top andro androgenetic agent. Yes. Which is great because the pills um, have been exclusively used for women, yes. but yes. they also may have side effects in women as well. Right. And so this is one that women can use and men can on use. On their skin. So it's yes. not, we don't even have to take the pill. We put it on our skin and it helps to regulate our sebum production, which is one of the four factors of the acne. That cause acne. And so, yeah. and when you talk about sebum, that's oil. I mean, the layman's term is oil. So yes. it may cut down on the oil production. And a lot of people want that. Yeah. And um, what's great is it helps with acne, oil production, and it can be used in men and women. Men and women. So 
it's, but it's not FDA it? approved yet, you guys. So we're getting excited about it, but I think it's on the, it's really coming up. It's in phase three. Phase three, And yes. they did the trials on nine years old and older. So even for some of our younger teens that are starting to go through that hormonal change. So this is something that's great. Yeah. So if you think you suffer from a hormonal acne, you can always contact us. Or if yeah. there's something you'd like to hear more about medically, we're here for you. We are so we would here. love to address any questions that you have as well. So thank you for tuning in to yeah. Best of Both Worlds today. We'll see you next time.